feel like you're overspending for bunny items on things like veggies, hay, and other items? Stick around in this video to find out how you can save money on your bunny items. Today we're going to talk about 10 ways to save money while shopping for your bunny. So let's hop into the video. Purchase your housing secondhand. You can do this by looking at local shopping apps like Let It Go or OfferUp. You can also search online on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace to find great deals on gently used housing. This is a great way to get your rabbit housing for a fraction of the cost of new. Skip out on that expensive small pet bedding and get equine pellets instead. They are kiln-dried pine pellets that you can get for $5 for 40 pounds at your local tractor supply or feed store. Instead of buying a small pet litter box or an expensive cat box, you can go to your local Dollar Tree or 99 cent store. There you can look in the pet section and they generally have a good size cat box that you can get for only $1. If they don't have cat litter boxes in their pet section, you can go to the storage container section. They have a large variety of storage containers in different shapes and sizes. I'm sure you can find something in that section that would be great for a litter box for your rabbit. Shop at Aldi for your fresh produce. Aldi is a discount grocery store that we have here in Florida and other parts of the US. You can shop there for your produce and you can get it at a discount and a fraction of the price that you can get it at Walmart or your local produce stand. Use PetSmart Price Match. PetSmart has a price match program that is awesome. All you have to do is find items that you're going to purchase at PetSmart in the local store. After you find those items, you can compare by looking online at different stores like Chewy.com or different online pet stores. If you find the item for less expensive online, you can simply screenshot that, bring it to the register with you, and they will give you the item in store at the price you found online. I actually use the PetSmart price match program whenever I made a purchase in store and I saved over $50 on one purchase. I need different types of grass hay to put in my rabbit's litter box. Since Timothy hay is one of the most expensive grass hays for rabbits, I buy coastal, Ticton, or Bermuda grass to put in my rabbit's litter box. A Timothy hay bale is around $25 at my local farm. The Tipton or other grass hays cost me around $7. So this definitely cuts back your cost, especially if you have multiple rabbits like I do. It's very similar in nutritional value, but rabbits prefer the taste of Timothy grass over the other grass hays but it is safe for your rabbit and gives them a different variety of hay to munch on throughout the day. One way to cut back on the cost of pellets is buying bulk online. But with so many rabbits like I have and needing a grain-free pellet for rabbits with sensitive tummies, I found an even better solution. In the horse feed section, there is a brand of pellets called Stanley. It's 100% sun-dried hay pellets. They have a different variety of hay to choose from, including alfalfa, timothy, oat, and orchard. Because it's 100% sun-dried hay, it is grain-free and great for bunnies with sensitive tummies. It has over 30% fiber, and it's an excellent source of nutrition for your rabbit. It also only costs $15 for 40 pounds. So this is a great way to cut back on cost on pellets while also giving them the best nutrition. Growing your own fresh fruits, vegetables, herbs, and edible flowers is a great way to cut back costs on your produce. By growing these items yourself and mixing it into your bunny's daily diet, you don't have to buy as much in store. If your yard is not treated with pesticides, you can hand pick different weeds and grasses out of your yard and mix them in with your rabbit's daily greens. You can pick things like clover, chickweed, dandelion greens, and plantain, just to name a few. You can also pick a different variety of grasses to add in with your bunny's daily diet. This is a great way to add in some different nutrients to your bunny's daily diet, and also it saves you money because it makes your greens stretch a little bit longer. You just need to make sure that you know what you're picking. For this, I have a great app called Picture This on my iPhone. 
I simply take a picture of whatever plant, grass, or weed that I would like to pick, and it tells me exactly what it is. I then cross-reference online to make sure that it's safe for my rabbit to eat. This is a great way to cut back costs on your daily produce. I love shopping at my local thrift store or yard sale for things like blankets, fleece, and baby toys. These are some great items that your rabbit really is going to mess up anyways, so there really is no reason why you need to buy these new for your bunny. Also, they have a very low resale value, so you can get them pretty inexpensive at these places. It's a great way to cut back costs. If you want more money saving tips for your bunny, make sure you click this video right here to give you some more great tips and tour your local pet store. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press that bell so you don't miss out on great bunny care videos like this one. Thank you for joining us and don't forget to share the bunny love.